Phase change unit lesson 1.2, introducing Titan's disappearing lake. So in this lesson, we obtain, evaluate, and communicate information from a set of time-lapse videos of real-life phase changes in order to describe the macroscale appearance of solids, liquids, and gases and how substances change between these three phases, which involve scale, proportion, and quantity. So in this lesson, we obtain information through video and reading. We evaluate it through active reading and discussion, and we communicate that information with, in uh, discussion if it's available to you with somebody else. If not, uh, you're communicating to us and with yourself the takeaways from the lesson. Uh, Macroscale appearance of things uh, means something you can see with your eyes. A large scale, uh, as opposed to micro scale, or think of microscopic, which means smaller than the eye can see. You usually need a tool, something like a microscope, to see it. So we're looking at big stuff right now, things we can see with our eyes. Uh, and we'll be comparing solids, liquids, and gases with water, think uh, ice, pourable water, and steam, and how substances change between them. So that'll be the focus of this lesson, uh, step by step. Uh, this is a long lesson in terms of steps. It's an introductory lesson, both to the unit and to the chapter. So you can expect to be introduced to a lot of information. Um, so you'll complete the warm-up, kind of test your ideas of what you know in terms of uh, changing phase. And then you're going to have to go to the lesson brief, and we'll point that out in the video to come show you where to go. In the lesson brief, you're going to find a video called Studying a Distant Moon, which introduces you to the moon of Titan and what its role is. Uh, also in the lesson brief, you're going to watch four other videos that you've probably find something that you've seen in those videos before, but they're there just to remind you of what it's like for things to change phase and what that looks like. And if you haven't had an experience there, it's going to uh, give you some. Uh, in uh, step two, you're going to answer three questions using the word bank to assist you. Uh, in other words, they're going to ask you what you saw in the videos and, uh, and try to use some vocabulary to explain those. In step three, you're going to actively read uh, the Titan fact sheet. So the movie or the video that contained information about Titan, it's, they're going to give you more information in terms of text. So we're obtaining more information. In step four, we're going to actively read Air Pressure and Boyle's Law, which is going to give us some background information on uh, how in the past they've studied changes of phase, how we started to discover some of these interesting uh, rules or laws that we, we now uh, f that nature seems to follow. Uh, and, and then in step five, uh, it's family homework. You're at home. It might be an interesting thing to explore your house, for example, as a phase change and see what you can find. Uh, most of those steps require you to hand them in. So as you finish a step, be sure to do that. Uh, the unit question, which we'll get to in the next few moments, uh, how can the appearance of a substance change without be it becoming a different substance uh, is the main question of the unit. And then there is uh, an investigation question that it pertains to mostly this lesson alone. And how does the appearance of a substance change when it changes phase? So we're going to head over to Amplify and take a look at uh, where you're going to find these things. So when we get to the lesson, of course, we're always in the lesson brief. And here is where we'll find those videos and any other information we need in print format um, if you need it. But we're going to go right over to the warm-up. And here, as promised, are a situation that involves phase change, and they just want you to respond with as much as you know and can explain about it, and then hand that in. And then we're going to go over to normally where the teacher would be involved. In this case, uh, you're going to watch a video, but before you do, we need to give you some information as to, uh, as to what you're going to be doing with that video. So you've seen the Unit question, how can the appearance of a substance change without it becoming a different substance? So that's going to be the focus. And it turns out Earth is special. It's the only place in the universe where we found evidence of water in all three phases. Now, at any point, we could discover more. So this statement might be out of date any minute. Uh, but currently, as of the time this lesson was written, that's the only place we we can confirm three phases. Uh, lakes and oceans make liquid water, glaciers made of solid water, or ice and water vapor or gas in the air. However, NASA re recently found evidence that Titan, one of Saturn's moons, has lakes and seas on its surface. So in this video, you're going to meet Dr. Alex Hayes, a planetary geologist, and Dr. Mike Malaska, a chemist, the real-life scientists who are investigating a particular lake on Titan. Okay, so during this video, 
uh, you're going to think about what questions about Titan are the two doctors trying to answer with their research. Right? Now, this is where you would pause this video or you can let the video play through. But at this point, you would go back and watch the video in the lesson brief, uh, Studying a Distant Moon. Now, also in this lesson, there are some projections, and I will pull those up quickly. You have a message from Dr. Daniela Flores. Uh, she is the lead chemist at the Universal Space Agency. I should mention, they want me to mention to you that that's a made-up uh, agency, but you can imagine something like NASA being the real version of this. So, dear student chemists, scientists at the Universal Space Agency are investigating what happened to one of the methane lakes on Titan. The following slides depict the same location at two different times. As you will see, the location looks very different in the two pictures. As student chemists, we ask for your help in determining what happened to the missing lake. Thanks, Dr. Flores. So we're going to look at those in a minute. So here is those lakes it was talking about. One image on the left in 2007, one image on the right in 2009. And in 2007, they noted a dark area in the photos from an NASA probe in 2007. The area outlined in blue is a liquid lake. So on the upper left, you can see the shape of the lake. Two years later, on the right, the outlined area that is in blue was now much lighter. So the blackness went away. It's much more white. And what happened to the lake? So the methane lake in 2007, the probe, as you can see in the diagram, discovered liquid methane on one side. And, on the, and next to it, it found solid surface of Titan. Now there are two claims. Uh, in 2009, did the lake freeze? So it became solid methane where the lake was compared to the solid surface on Titan, or the claim that the lake evaporated. So there's no more methane there, and you can compare that to the solid surface of Titan. Right. So after you've watched the video and thought about those questions, uh, the next step uh, involves teacher direction. Okay. In this step of the lesson, uh, you're introduced to the investigation question. So a smaller question than the whole unit question we now want to find out how does the appearance of a substance change when it changes phase. Uh, answering this question will be our first step towards figuring out uh, if the methane lake on Titan froze or evaporated. So here's where we watch the four videos. Again, you're going to need to go back to the lesson brief. I'll pop back there really quick and show you again where those videos are found. Here on the right side, condensation in a cup, evaporating mud puddle, melting ice pipe, pop time lapse ice forming on tree branches. So as you watch those, we know that we can't directly study the phase changes on Titan since it's so far away. Instead, we're going to study phase changes here on Earth to help us better understand the process and then make predictions about what's going on in Titan. So pause this video if you want and head over or let it play through and then go back when it's over once you've got the big picture. But this is where you're going to want to watch those four videos. Once you've completed watching those videos, uh, they want to check in with us and be sure we understand the term phase, which is a noticeably different form or state of the same substance. So we have two things that look different, but they're actually the same thing. And one of the obvious ones that you've seen in your life is solid ice looks and acts differently than liquid water. That would be an example of two different phases, solid phase and liquid phase. Okay? They also want you to be familiar with three phases of matter, solid on the left, liquid in the middle, and gas on the right. Again, if we were comparing it to water, we'd be looking at ice and drinkable water and steam or in the form of gas. And the key concepts they want you to know at this point after watching those videos and doing the warm-up is a solid holds its shape and does not take the shape of its container. In other words, it doesn't need something to hold it. Uh, a gas has no visible shape and fills its container. Think about pouring water into a glass. It's going to take the shape of the glass, where if you just pour it on the ground, it's going to lay flat and spread out. And then a liquid flows and can take the shape of its container. So if the container shape was different, the liquid would take that shape. In step two of the lesson, they're just asking you to communicate what you've discovered so far and what you understand. Uh, there is a word bank, so here are some terms that they're wanting you to start to try to use at this point in your explanations, but there are three questions there uh, they want you to attempt to answer and hand in. We then head over to step three, and this is where you obtain more information. Uh, you have the Titan fact sheet. Uh, it's embedded in your page, or you can open it separately in the library, as always. 
And here's where you're going to go through and you're going to annotate that article. Remember, anytime you highlight, uh, you get an annotation pop up. It allows you to take notes that stay that, that will permanently stay with that article. And then you can answer questions down below. When you're done with that, hand it in. In step four, you see the second article that we reviewed in the lesson overview, the air pressure and Boyle's law. And here we see uh, an image of Robert Boyle and talks about some other scientists like Robert Hooke, which you may also hear about with uh, biology and uh, uh, he's quite the sci well-rounded scientist and how they work together to solve some of these phase change issues. And you're going to respond to those questions on the right side. And then in step five, family homework experience. Well, all the work you're doing now seems to be homework. Uh, so they encourage you to look around the house and see if you can find examples of things changing phase. A kitchen's a great place to start, but uh, you might find other areas around your house where that's true. And then you can... Uh, Fill in your examples so that you found here and hand that in and that will wrap up lesson 1.2.